You should always come to school prepared. But this is just excessive. Besides, you never know what you can find in the hallways. An ancient pop-up toy. Oh, it's missing pieces. Uh-oh, look out! She doesn't look too happy. Quick, shield your face! Maybe it's just me, but she doesn't seem like a very nice person. Aw, oh, don't cry. This'll cheer you up. Huggy Wuggy's in the bonus at the end. Hmm, waste not, want not comes to mind. Hey, who invited her? What a cute little pig. You think this'll help her distress? Well, at least she has a smile on her face. For now. Maybe she could make something instead. Ugh, does she have to use old gum? Well, an old balloon, hot glue, and a phone can all work wonders. It's a cute little egg. But she should still probably wash hey. her hands. Oh, now she likes Poppet toys. Honestly, after what oh. she did, the other girl should just take the toy. Oh. But maybe she has a trick up her sleeve with all this tape and construction paper. Now it's coming together. She made a giant poppet toy. It's easy to pop, but can you push them back into place? Ooh. Oh, just hold it up. Yellow, cyan, and magenta squirrels. Is this where all the printer ink went? You know, I'm starting to think that mean girl needs a new hobby. Uh -huh. She's got the right idea making all these crafts. You know, doing something constructive. Oh, look. She made a little house with the ruler. Cut out a hole in the middle. Add our cardboard roll and a balloon. And add those final touches. Add a face. And it's kind of like a little dog house. How cute. Squishy pig, squishy squirrels. Now cake. Anyone sensing a pattern here? The key here is to think squishy. Any marshmallows? Even better, a sponge. And she's made it into a donut, which is also normally squishy. Mmm, pink frosting and sprinkles. It's Homer Simpson approved. This girl really needs to learn to keep her hands or mouth to herself. Hmm, all these stress balls and they don't seem to do a thing for her. Okay, now I'm starting to see what she's doing wrong. You know, no one said we couldn't use leftover parts for our crafts. Just make a clear casing like this and fill it with water beads. It's nice and squishy and would also make a great valentine. Ooh. You know, for once, I think I'm on the same page with her. Hmm. Aw, oh, some nice little hearts will liven things up. Making art on paper. What a novel idea. Glad I thought of it. Of course, the real trick will involve a plastic bag and black paint. Tape the bag around the paper and add a border around it. 
scratch on anything you want to draw. And it's so easy to erase. And just think of all the money you'll save on chalk. These stress balls seem typical, but they come with a sticky surprise. If you have enough, maybe you could make a necklace. Or you can just throw them on the wall. Either way, seems like a good time. Well, that was pretty nice of her. Unless she's up to something. I called it. But once again, maybe balloons can save the day. They look the part. Now some soap and water is needed for the sticky part. Put your hands into it. They each need a nice, good dunk. Give them a nice pat, and voila! They all stick to each other. See? I told you they make good accessories. It looks like you can make a bunch of different shapes with this. Wow, look! It's kind of like a pair of goggles. Any ideas? Hmm, I would have thought she'd use the cup. Cut up these straws and attach to a pipe cleaner. And you'll have a similar material to the toy. Make everything from a double helix to a bracelet. Or three. And she's supposed to be the nice one. Being the mean girl seems fun, but it takes years of practice to get those evil poses right. Catch you next time!